Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you how to disassemble and assemble back in your MacBook Pro. In my case it's a MacBook Pro model number A1278. A client brought this in today to replace you uh, the power jack which I already replaced. I'm just going to re-show you how to replace the power jack. I'm gonna leave a link on description before on the bottom so you where you can actually buy these jacks. So you can replace it by yourself if you are if your laptop is not powering it up, is is not charging, it might be your bad or faulty power jack. And if you can see if the pins are really darkened and like a it's like a kind of broken type. And just for sure, your power jack, you might want to replace it. In my case, it was very noticeable. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. It's kind of black. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to replace this jack and on the way how you can disassemble. For the Mac, in order to disassemble it, you have to flip over. By the way, this laptop is missing a few screws. So there are two screws on the, in the front that is missing. To remove this, you have to remove all the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws at the bottom. So you grab your screwdriver. And it starts unscrewing. Remove all the screws. Alright, by the way, sometimes if you uh, your MacBook is not turning on before replacing the power jack, you might want to actually to take the bottom cover out, unscrew this, and clean the back cover. Because the MacBook, it won't actually turn back on if there are, there are some connectors on the board, which is right over here on this end. These pins, one, two, three, four, five, pins, six, seven pins. 8 pins, 9 pins. If these 9 pins they don't connect to each other, which is right over here, they just have to hit the bottom cover and, these are, and they just start connecting to each other. If these connections are dirty or if they're not making a good contact, your laptop won't turn on. You actually it might go wide screen, but it won't just boot to the operating system. So you might want to grab this and with a rubbing alcohol start cleaning all these pads. Make sure because this one has a lots of dirt on it, so you start cleaning it. Only on this part and here you can count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only counted eight and there's nine here. Oh, there's the nine. So that's another reason sometimes it doesn't turn on. So now first thing first you might want to disconnect the battery. By disconnecting the battery, just put your finger under the plastic cover, just lift it up, and that's it. Next, you want to grab your guitar pick, or if you have a longer nails, remove the sensor for a battery charge sensor, which is on the side. Remove, I think this is the backlight. Remove the keyboard. No, the backlight is that one. Remove the keyboard, open the hinges for the keyboard, open the hinges for the backlight, grab your tweezers, 
to the cable out, put the ribbon cable for the keyboard, remove the, the hard drive ribbon, remove the CD-ROM ribbon, the Wi-Fi, and the rest of the webcam cable. And for the LCD panel, lift the hinge and pull it out with two fingers toward one corner. Don't pull the cable. And that's it. Once you do that, you remove the fan. The fan just pull out towards the ceiling. Don't pull out to one side. Same thing with other speakers, audios. Pull up. And the last one, yeah, you have to pull to one side. You don't pull up. Slowly. Alright. Now that we got all the cables disconnected, we're gonna start removing the screws. You gotta remove the corner screws. First, I have to grab the right. No, this is not the right one. I'm gonna find the right one. They already opened this laptop a few times with the screw heads. Uh, And the screws on the corner. Now one on the corner. Also, just to put a magnet on your screwdriver so you can actually automatically fix up the screws. These two, and there's another one by the right. You don't want to unscrew the these four screws. Which is the holding the RAM plastic hinges. Once you did these three, you want to remove this corner one. It's gonna come out with the, this aluminium piece. It's a very small screw. Put to one side and remove this aluminium piece. Put to the same place. Next, you want to remove the top screw. I already removed this one. Remove the other one beside it. Remove the fan screw. This one is a bit longer. Remove the other fan screw. Uh, you can remove the fan right now. Pull the cable up and the fan comes out. You can actually clean your laptop this way too, just removing the fan. Now you're gonna remove another screw which is by the under the cables. Alright, once we do that. You might want to remove these two screws which holding the power jack which we're going to be replacing which I already did, I'm just going to show you guys how to Once that's done, now the motherboard can No, by the way, there's one more in the middle It's not in the center It's right where the USB ports are once you have that, now it's loose enough. You don't want to just pull it out because there's a, a heat sink hits the speaker, so you want to be careful with that. Once you pass that by, make sure all the cables are clear. And then slowly pull out. You want to lift it this way up and lift this one down. 45 degree angle, and then you go up to 65, and then pull out to the hard drive side. Once you do that, flip it over to one corner. Don't pull the corner up because you got the subwoofer underneath or the speaker. Now what you want to do, you might, you want to uh, disconnect this cable over here and the speakers. Once you do that, the rest is easy. Take the jack out, put this on top, and the whole thing comes out. Now there we have it. And then unplug the jack. Now you can actually replace the jack with a new one, which I already did. 
find a new jack and replace them. And you can change the thermal paste, just remove the three screws, clean the thermal paste and put them back together. I'm not going to do it because I already replaced the thermal paste on this one. So I'm going to plug in the jack, the new jack. Once I do that, I'm going to select over, put the speaker in the place. Connect the speaker cable. The speaker cable goes over the speaker, over the cables, the jack cables. And the other cable is really tightened. You have to pull it slowly, not too hard. I'm going to actually lift this one up so I can see it. And then put it in a place with your fingers. And that's it. Once in there, don't lift it anymore. And a little bit, I gotta put the jack in the other, to the other end. Now, I'm gonna wanna hold it. I'm gonna try to keep my head out of the camera. Bend the jack to the other end. Let's get the jack to this end. Push jack to the corner. And. The motherboard in 45 degree angle, pull the cables out, pull the other cable for the sensor out. There you go. Put that in place. Now, secure this end. You're gonna put your finger and lift all the cable to one side and I slowly put down the motherboard. Just make sure it goes in a place. And the only thing that is holding it up is the heat sink that is hitting the speaker. Just push in slowly and that's it. One in, once in, plug in the connections, that one, the hard drive, the CD ROM, the Wi Fi. Then you can go ahead and plug in the this other cable that goes to an off switch. Well, and the speakers, you can plug it in too. And the sensor. You're not gonna plug in the battery cable, so don't do that. When you're gonna put in the flex cable for the screen, just push in, close the hinge. Now you're gonna put in two screws for the jack. Alright, and grab the fan, put the fan in place. Put two screw for the fan. I think the fan usually takes three screw, but there's a missing screw right there. Go ahead and put the screws in the corner. Find the same power. Battery jack, the screw, the other end, and the screw right where the LCD is, and there's the other one by the heat sink. Let's put the screw. There. And the last one is right by the audio cable. And the last thing, second last, you're gonna plug in the fan. Oh, actually, no, there's more. You still gotta plug in the 
Program table for the keyboard. You have to be very gentle, very careful. You don't want to bend it. Okay, I can't see it with the camera is on the way. I'm gonna flip over so I can see it this way. It's pain in the ass putting this cable back on. Sometimes. There you go. Once it slides in the for in the place, close the safety. Put the LED cable in. Goes to our end. Now we're gonna put in this piece that we removed, the aluminium piece. And the screw for it. So this aluminium piece is gonna hold the cover. Once we got those in, plug in the battery. Once you have the battery, make sure all the connections are in place. And the sensors run your fingers or the sensors make sure they are clean. This sensor it looks faulty because it's already down, it's not actually up. I don't know why. Right now, it's pushing in with a force. But yes, and who cares? As long as it works. So once you got that in, you're gonna put the lead cover. Remember to clean up the connections and put it back. Screw in the screws, and it should be done. Guys, if you like this video, thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos or any request, subscribe and leave a comment below. I will check them every day. And if you want a specific laptop to be open to do a service job on it, let me know. I'll try to get my hands on it. And thank you for watching. I appreciate if you subscribe, it helps a lot.